What's up YouTube? This is Open Shield before you back again with another Destiny 2 video. So in today's video I'm gonna be doing some gameplay of the Final Chef campaign. So um, if you are not interested in what the story has to say or whatever, so you know if you've been warned this is a spoiler, um, make sure that you turn it off or maybe come back and maybe you have played this part. Uh, and then uh, yeah, hopefully you will enjoy the video and go from there. So in this video, I am using my solar uh, titan class, and I am going to, uh, you know, attempt to go ahead and do this. I'll just kind of let the gameplay in the back uh, kind of do its talking or whatever, uh, while I kind of share a few thoughts, uh, you know, with you all. Uh, one thing I, you will notice here in the background footage is that I am going to die uh, probably a, a lot. This is legendary uh, right here, so I am trying to do my best to make sure that I don't die and all those things. If you're wondering about what exotic I'm using, I am using the uh, Phoenix Cradle uh, exotic, which is one of my favorite exotics in the entire game due to the uh, healing and synergy uh, that it does for the entire fire team. Uh, also, I love the uh, sunspots and everything that it does as well. Uh, of course, I have a Hunger's Howl, which is what you see me use here, which I have it with uh, Heal Clip and um, Incandescent. Haven't been able to upgrade it yet since I just kind of started playing the season. Um, and so, yeah, that this is the gameplay that you see in the background. So, one thing I wanted to talk to you about uh, in today's video is I uh, the final shape. Uh, so far, I am really enjoying the campaign. I am really enjoying, um, you know, the new, you know, all the all the changes to all of these subclasses. Uh, everybody, uh, every subclass got a uh, small change to them. Uh, most of them are like quality of life updates specifically to Stasis, um, which I will, uh, depending on when you see this, you'll probably have, uh, that video will already have dropped. You will already know my thoughts about that. Um, and then, you know, all the other subclasses got some kind of change in some way, shape, or form. Most of them were all quality of life, which uh, fantastic all the way. So, uh, I'm enjoying this so far, uh, just the whole story about how we are uh, effectively mastering both the light and the dark in order to uh, kind of challenge the witness and sort of bring peace to the universe. Uh, the Destiny 2 universe is fantastic. Um, I've always loved video games and storylines where, you know, they really expand on what it means, you know, with light and dark, you know. Uh, one of the things that I really enjoy is that um, the Exo Stranger uh, really talks a lot about how, um, you know, Stasis is a dark power uh, in the world of Destiny 2. It's considered a darkness uh, subclass, you know, uh, power set. And Elsie Bray, who is the uh, Exo Stranger, she talks about how it's really not really, it, it, although it is quote unquote called the darkness. It, you know, there's really nothing to fear about it because ultimately it's a matter of perspective. Um, and I even remember uh, it's 801 in the tower. She even said it too in one of her like dialogues. She had said that, you know, it doesn't matter if it's stasis or, you know, what other darkness power that comes around. Um, you know, they could be used to either create or destroy just like the light has been used in times uh, in the past. Obviously, of course, she didn't say exactly those words, but that's more or less what she has said. And I really like them expanding on this and then, you know, sort of leaving it up to you as a player to really think about your what you're doing. How are you using this power? Is this for good? Is this for bad? Um, and to what cost, you know, and, and to what extent are you going to use this power for? Um, obviously, of course, if it is a power that you can use, to say the universe obviously i don't think any anybody in the destiny universe is going to say no don't use it um however there is uh that old saying that power corrupts and so i believe that um you know i, I and i haven't played through the entire storyline or anything yet this is just me speculating here but i believe that you know it might become a, a, a topic of conversation that you know the guardian could potentially be a little bit too powerful in the sense of you know the the guardian can wield both the light and the dark just like the witness 
So who goes to say that if he decides that he, you know, he or she goes rogue, you know, the the guardian would be a immense problem for everybody involved. Because keep in mind, the guardian is, uh, as far as the storyline is concerned, is a god slayer and has been doing so since the uh, inception of Destiny um, One. And so I don't really think that people are going to necessarily think that the Guardian is going to go rogue like that. However, I think there is going to be a question of, you know, whenever the witness is destroyed or, you know, taken out of the way, you know, you do have this immense amount of power as the Guardian who is a wielder of the light in the dark. And what will you do with that power? And, you know, what is the responsibility that the Guardian has to the rest of the universe? Uh, for wielding these powers and being so powerful and so strong so um those are just kind of my initial thoughts right now and you know i don't really have too much more to think about or that i want to say here in this video so instead of rambling on and on and on i'm actually going to leave it here uh leave your thoughts down below in the comment section below uh i'm gonna just go ahead and leave the gameplay running so you can all see uh but i'm not gonna be adding any more con uh any more commentary after this I'm just going to let you see it unedited, uncut, all of those things. So, uh, And let me know if you like this style of content where I sort of talk to you a little bit and then kind of give you a lot of gameplay behind it. Um, I don't always have something meaningful to say, so I don't always just, you know, only make videos only when I have something meaningful to say. I always want to try and, you know, make content more consistently, so... Uh, let me know what you think. So, I've rambled on long enough. Open the Shield 340, signing off. Let me know what you think in the comments. Peace. We've crossed the threshold. This is it. We're really here. Mara? I can't pick up anything. No comm signals from Seoul. Zavala, Ikora, do you read us? Nothing. We're alone. I... I can feel the light here. It's everywhere. Grass? Air? It's not what I expected the heart of the Traveler would be like, but it's beautiful, isn't it? And so familiar. This is city architecture. Servants of the Witness. They must be remnants from a conquered species.
I think I can channel the power coming out of that wellspring of light and dark into you, Guardian. We just need to be closer. I know this street. I know that shop. That's the tower. That's our tower. Before Gaul destroyed it years ago. Wait. I'm picking up a Vanguard emergency transponder. It's faint, but it's not far from here. Someone else must have made it through.
This was the old Vanguard Command Center, but it's changed. Light and dark are welling up here. More than I've ever felt before. Feels like... like you could reach out and pull all that power to you. Control it. Could you? The line between light and dark is... It's gone. It, it's gone. Guardian, you're... You fused light and dark into harmony. 